Right, so I'm going to try and show you a simple method for doing the carbon cycle, for remembering it. Now it doesn't have it all, but it has the majority of the carbon cycle, alright? And it's something I want to be able to visualise so you can remind yourselves of it for the exam. Okay? So all the work we've been doing on decay leads on to the carbon cycle because the reason why microorganisms decay is to release carbon. Okay? So I want you to begin by drawing a very simple, and don't do it yet, I'll do it together, we'll do it together, just hold on, a very simple set of important features. And I'll go through this first. The first one is a nice simple cloud. The second is a beautiful tree. The third, and I'm, you need to bear with me, but this is a cow or other herbivore type. Then I am just going to draw a little bit of cow poo. And then I am going to draw a lovely bacteria. And that is the beginnings of our carbon cycle. So don't forget, I'm just trying to give you a simple version that you can remember at all times. Okay? Right. Now, what I'm going to do now is draw some of the processes that you need to know. Alright? The first process I need you to be aware of, and I'm going to draw the arrows to represent them. Yes, Claire? Where's the cow? This is a cow. Okay. So, the first process, or the first thing I want to talk to you about, is this. The source of all the carbon in our world comes from atmospheric carbon dioxide, which I'm trying to represent in the clouds. All right? Then there is one fundamental, important way in which that CO2 becomes part of our living ecosystem. And it is represented by that arrow there. Can anyone tell me what that arrow represents? Good lad, photosynthesis. All right. So I'm just going to label that as a P, so you can try remember it and recall it simply. When you see it in your mind, you go P. What's that stand for? Good. Okay. Now, all living things do this arrow here, and I hope you can tell me what it is. The plants and the herbivore do that arrow there which releases CO2 into the atmosphere. Anyone any ideas? Not quite. They are living when they do this process. In fact, it's very important. Good lad, Lewis. Respiration. And I'm going to call that R. Are you with me so far? Yeah. Okay. So, the carbon in the atmosphere becomes part of our ecosystem by photosynthesis but is also released back into the ecosystem by respiration. There is one more thing on this diagram that also respires. Can anyone tell me what they think it is? One more living thing that also what respires. Animals. Who said bacteria? The bacteria also respires. It respires when it is decomposing the dead herbivore or the waste material. And so I actually need a little bit of process there. I'm going to call that process D. Can anyone tell what the D stands for, please? Decay. Wonderful. Now, there's very little left for this very basic carbon cycle. Alright? There's very little left, but there's one more process. And I've not quite drawn it yet, but I wanted to add on to here what I'm going to draw as a barrel of oil. How do these dead animals or plants 
become oil. Now this is a very good day by you, Hassan. Go on. They are fossil fuels, and what happens to convert them to fossil fuels? Who are? They go underground for a thousand millions of years. So these are trapped underground for a thousand years, and turn into liquid. They decompose. That's the actual key to it. They're not decomposing. So these two, whenever they are not decomposed by the bacteria, they in the right conditions are converted to fossil fuels. So I'll draw that as my final arrow. Under the right conditions, and then the final arrow, which releases CO2 back into the atmosphere, that I'll call a letter C. Anyone know what that is? Combustion. Combustion. Wonderful. Now just stop. That's the carbon cycle right in front of you. In a simple, easy version. And all you have to remember in your exam is to visualise that with the letters, be able to remember what the letters are. And you then know the carbon cycle and how the whole thing is recycled.